what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Imagine getting to work 15 minutes early to help your employer out, then getting fired for leaving work eight minutes before you're scheduled to get off. Even worse, the person who is in charge of speaking to you is talking to you like you're a child, handling you. The footage in question was secretly recorded by a janitor named Jonathan in 2016. It recently went viral. Now, here's the backstory. Jonathan said that he got there early because the fire people needed to get into the building. So he went to work early to let them in. And I guess he felt like he could leave a little early because he got there early. Well, the principal, Susan, said, no, no, no. What is your work hours, Jonathan? She repeated. And Jonathan finally said, 6.30 to 3 p.m. So his work hours are 6.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. He went to work at 6.15 a.m. and clocked out at 2.52 p.m. Jonathan told Susan, who is the principal at Webb Bridge Middle School in Alpharetta, Georgia, that he felt she was picking on him. She insisted that she wasn't. She was only concerned that he was not doing what he was paid to do, and that is, first and foremost, work from the hours of 6.30 to 3 o'clock. Now, Jonathan did a follow-up and he said, well, really, he didn't get fired. He resigned. He was tricked into resigning. He said that he wasn't even, he didn't resign because of that particular incident. He said they were messing with him. And they called him, he said the substitute principal called him into the office because Susan had broken her leg or something like that and she was out. The substitute teacher or the substitute principal came in and was riding him about a, some type of picture of graffiti on a door and tissue in a toilet bowl that he had never seen. I don't know if he was saying that they were accusing him of putting it in there or writing on the door or just not doing his job. But he said that they used that as the reason to get rid of him, to force him into retirement. He said he was tricked because he was under the assumption that if he resigned, he could get employment down the line. Well, he said everywhere he went to try to get employed, in, the, in Fulton County, uh, by the Fulton County School District, he was denied. And he said a woman named Patty told him that he cannot work in Fulton County. So, in the Fulton County School District. So, he felt that he was targeted. Okay, let's break this thing down. Let's unwrap this package. Let's walk this puppy. Who's right and who's wrong? Here's the deal, family. Whenever your employer wants to get rid of you, they're going to nitpick everything. They're going to be all over you. And when your employer wants to get rid of you, it is impossible to maintain your job. It is impossible for you to be an excellent employee because there's always something 
they can ride you for. So I feel like the man was targeted. The thing is, when you are being targeted, you have no room for error. And I do believe that, yes, he done a noble thing by getting there early and letting the five people in. But when he checked out early, he gave them an opening and that's all they needed. So although that wasn't the final draw, it contributed to the final draw because now they have a pattern like, yo, and then you did this. And then you did this. Well, now we got to let you go. Gave you X amount of warnings. We gave you fat chances. Now we got to let you go. I know this because there's a person who is in my life who went through the same thing. But we fought back, got lawyers. Not only did she get a job back, but what well, actually fired her, but not only did she get a job back, she got a promotion and a raise, was not playing any games. And that's what he's gonna have to do. This sounds clearly like discrimination and harassment. Although the janitor was wrong in taking off early, getting to work early, I mean, really? Is he going to ride the man because he let the five people in early? Come on, man. And you don't talk to grown people that way. You don't talk to a child that way. The principal could use some courses in communications. She could use some courses in humanity. really put this man out of work over something that trivial? I'm sure the principal has done that to a few others also. Jonathan, sue, sue, sue. That's my advice. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.